Nothing to see here. Just putting another bale in the storage facility here, trying to beat the 200 bale limit. How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how you can beat the bale limit on console of 200 bales by using a base game item. Yes, a base game. It's a silo that is going to be able to store your bales for you. Let me show you exactly where it's at in your store. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to construction and then you're going to go over to silos and then you're going to go to this building right here. It's the bale and pallet storage. What we're looking at today is going to be only the bale portion of this and you're going to be able to put this thing down anywhere as long as you don't have something in the way. And it costs $29,000. Um, that's without any terraforming or anything like that. You just hit X, put it down. You're going to be able to rotate this thing around any way you want to right here. As you can see, I've got some other stuff in the way, but it's pretty easy to put down and it, it's going to make your life so much easier on console. As you can see, I've already got some bales in there. It's showing 43 bales and it looks like they're 9,000 liters each. Well, the next question I've got, how many different things can we put in here? So let's go ahead and just push these forward right here into this. So both of those are going to go now. All right. So that was easy. It looks like it stacked it right there in the front. And so what about a round cotton bale? Can we put cotton bales in with our grass or hay and our straw? Yeah, it went right there. So it's really, man. It's kind of, you know, smart about this, about where it's putting everything. Now, this is a 20,000 liter cotton bale right here. Where is it going to put it at? Let's see. And it put it in the front. All right, cool. Now, that's all base game items. Over here, I've got some other items that aren't so base game. So this one right here, these are 14,000 liters and they're wrapped. Now these are going to be silage eventually. So let's go ahead and put them in here as well. I'm going to go ahead and do this and let's go ahead and start the unloading process right here. Now, like I said, these are wrapped and I wonder, is it going to keep this blue silage color on here or is it going to change it to something else? Let's go ahead and hit this and it's putting it in there as the blue that's really awesome and if we come up here we can see that it says that it's grass 14,000 liters and i've got 17 of them in there right now all right really cool so let's go ahead and grab another one here let's get this guy out of the way as you guys can see i made a bunch of bales out here so let's go ahead and grab the next one here now these are red ones or no let's go to the straw yeah let's go with the straw so next straw is going to be 36,000 liter bales. Okay. This is from the increased capacity mod that we have. Now this one's going to be tricky because they stand up vertically, right? So let's go ahead and unfold this. And we've got just a little bit of a section right there on the edge. You can see that this, it, it, it might work. I'm not sure. We might have to drop these down and then push them backwards. So we're as close as we can get right now. Let's go ahead, drop that down. There we go. And if I start to back up, that was actually pretty simple. Actually pretty simple. Now on this one, you can see that I've got some red silage and I've also got the ones in the back. Those are poplar. So let's go ahead and unfold this as well. And let's see if this is actually going to go ahead and store these poplars in here for us. So we're going to go ahead and start the unload process. And as it backs up, yeah, it's going to take them. And the last one that I want to try is the mini bales right here. The baby bales. These are from the Massey Ferguson. And yeah. All right. Now I have no idea where I put it. So look at the list here. It doesn't look like anything is in any particular order. It's kind of grouping all the straw together and then the cottons together. But the grass is kind of split up. So I don't know exactly how it's going to look. But anything that you put in here bale wise it is going to take. This is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it's going to leave the, the different colored um, wrapping on there as well, even if it's from a mod. Those were mods available on the Mod Hub, and it left them. Now, how are you going to be able to get these out? Well, it's pretty simple. All you got to do, come right over here. And just like you're going to be unloading a silo, you're going to press down on your L3. It's going to ask you which ones do you want on. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get my, my baby bail out. There it is. All right, I'm gonna do it again. And this time let's go ahead and get the cotton bale out. Yep, there it is. Now let's go ahead and get the other cotton bale out. I wanna see. All right, so it's it's putting them out here as I have room. So let's go ahead and grab, a, yeah, 25. 25 of these bales right here. Let's see 
how many we can fit. All right, so it stuck them all the way around the outside. So as long as I've got room here, it's gonna keep giving me stuff, but it's gonna come to a point where I can't get anything else out. There's not enough space to place the bales. This is an absolutely fantastic addition here to base game. Guys, you're not gonna need any mods at all to be able to utilize and have this building already in your game. You're just gonna need patch 1.9. It released on March 14th, 2023. So if you're seeing this video, you should already have it. And one really interesting fact about this, we've got a mod that gives you 36,000 liter square bales. Multiply that by 250, which is how many you can fit in here. That's 9 million liters of straw you can store in this building. Absolutely insanity.